the Mobius Strip or Mobius Band or U.S. Mobius, German, Mobius, Mobius or Mobius, is a surface with only one side and only one boundary. The Mobius Strip has the mathematical property of being non-orientable. It can be realized as a ruled surface. It was discovered independently by the German mathematicians August Ferdinand Mobius and Johann Benedict Listing in 1858. An example of a Mobius strip can be created by taking a paper strip and giving it a half twist, and then joining the ends of the strip together to form a loop. However, the Mobius strip is not a surface of only one exact size and shape, such as the half-twisted paper strip depicted in the illustration. Rather, mathematicians refer to the closed Mobius band as any surface that is homeomorphic to this strip. Its boundary is a simple closed curve, i.e., homeomorphic to a circle. This allows for a very wide variety of geometric versions of the Mobius band as surfaces each having a definite size and shape. For example, any rectangle can be glued to itself to make a Mobius band. Some of these can be smoothly modeled in Euclidean space, and others cannot. A half-twist clockwise gives a different embedding of the Mobius strip than a half-twist counterclockwise, that is, as an embedded object in Euclidean space the Mobius strip is a chiral object with right or left-handedness. However, the underlying topological spaces within the Mobius strip are homeomorphic in each case. There are an infinite number of topologically different embeddings of the same topological space into three-dimensional space. As the Mobius strip can also be formed by twisting the strip an odd number of times greater than one, or by knotting and twisting the strip, before joining its ends. The complete open Mobius band is an example of a topological surface that is closely related to the standard Mobius strip but that is not homeomorphic to it. It is straightforward to find algebraic equations, the solutions of which have the topology of a Mobius strip. But in general these equations do not describe the same geometric shape that one gets from the twisted paper model described above. In particular, the twisted paper model is a developable surface, having zero Gaussian curvature. A system of differential algebraic equations that describes models of this type was published in 2007 together with its numerical solution. The Euler characteristic of the Mobius strip is zero. Properties The Mobius strip has several curious properties. A line drawn starting from the seam down the middle meets back at the seam but at the other side. If continued the line meets the starting point and is double the length of the original strip, this single, continuous curve demonstrates that the Mobius strip has only one boundary. Cutting a Mobius strip along the center line with a pair of scissors yields one long strip with two full twists in it. Rather than two separate strips, the result is not a Mobius strip. This happens because the original strip only has one edge that is twice as long as the original strip. Cutting creates a second independent edge, half of which was on each side of the scissors. Cutting this new, longer, strip down the middle creates two strips wound around each other, each with two full twists. If the strip is cut along about a third of the way in from the edge, it creates two strips. One is a thinner Mobius strip, it is the center third of the original strip comprising one third of the width and the same length as the original strip. The other is a longer, but thin strip with two full twists in it, this is a neighborhood of the edge of the original strip, and it comprises one third of the width and twice the length of the original strip. Other analogous strips can be obtained by similarly joining strips with two or more half twists in them instead of one. For example, a strip with three half twists, when divided lengthwise, becomes a strip tied in a trefoil knot. A strip with n half twists, when bisected, becomes a strip with n plus one full twists. Giving it extra twists and reconnecting the ends produces figures called paradromic rings. Geometry and topology one way to represent the Mobius strip as a subset of three-dimensional Euclidean space is using the parametrization, where 0 u less than 2 pi and minus 1 v1. 
This creates a Mobius strip of width 1 whose center circle has radius 1, lies in the xy plane and is centered it. The parameter u runs around the strip while v moves from one edge to the other. In cylindrical polar coordinates, an unbounded version of the Mobius strip can be represented by the equation. Why does isometric embedding in 3 space if a smooth Mobius strip in 3 space is a rectangular one, that is, created from identifying two opposite sides of a geometrical rectangle with bending but not stretching the surface, then such an embedding is known to be possible if the aspect ratio of the rectangle is greater than the square root of 3. For an aspect ratio less than or equal to the square root of 3, however, a smooth embedding of a rectangular Mobius strip into 3 space may be impossible, as the aspect ratio approaches the limiting ratio of square root 3 from above. Any such rectangular Mobius strip in 3 space seems to approach a shape that in the limit can be thought of as a strip of 3 equilateral triangles folded on top of one another so that they occupy just one equilateral triangle in 3 space. If the Mobius strip in 3 space is only once continuously differentiable, however, then the theorem of nash kuiper shows that there is no lower bound. A method of making a Mobius strip from a rectangular strip too wide to simply twist and join is to first fold the y direction back and forth, using an even number of folds, an accordion fold, so that the folded strip becomes narrow enough that it can be twisted and joined, much as a single long enough strip can be joined. With two folds, for example, a 1 times 1 strip would become a 1 times 1 third folded strip whose cross section is in the shape of an N and would remain an N after a half twist. This folded strip three times as long as it is wide would be long enough to then join at the ends. This method works in principle but becomes impractical after sufficiently many folds, if paper is used. Using normal paper, this construction can be folded flat, with all the layers of the paper in a single plane. But mathematically, it is not clear whether this is possible without stretching the surface of the rectangle. Topology Topologically, the Mobius strip can be defined as the square 0, 1, times 0, 1, with its top and bottom sides identified by the relation tilde for 0 x 1, as in the diagram on the right. A less used presentation of the Mobius strip is as the topological quotient of a torus. A torus can be constructed as the square 0, 1, times 0, 1, with the edges identified as tilde and tilde. If one then also identified tilde, then one obtains the Mobius strip. The diagonal of the square where both coordinates agree becomes the boundary of the Mobius strip and carries an orbifold structure, which geometrically corresponds to reflection. Geodesics in the Mobius strip reflect off the edge back into the strip. Notationally, this is written as T2, S2, the two torus quotiented by the group action of the symmetric group on two letters and it can be thought of as the configuration space of two unordered points on the circle, possibly the same, with the torus corresponding to two ordered points on the circle. The Mobius strip is the two-dimensional compact manifold with boundary. It is a standard example of a surface that is not orientable. In fact, the Mobius strip is the epitome of the topological phenomenon of non-orientability. This is because one, two-dimensional shapes are the lowest dimensional shapes for which non-orientability is possible, and two, the Mobius strip is the only surface that is topologically a subspace of every non-orientable surface. As a result, ever surface is non-orientable if and only if it contains a Mobius band as a subspace. The Mobius strip is also a standard example used to illustrate the mathematical concept of a fiber bundle. Specifically, it is a non-trivial bundle over the circle S1 with a fiber the unit interval I equals 0, 1. Looking only at the edge of the Mobius strip gives a non-trivial two-point bundle over S1. Computer graphics A simple construction of the Mobius strip that can be used to portray it in computer graphics or modeling packages is as follows. 
Take a rectangular strip, rotate it around a fixed point not in its plane. At every step also rotate the strip along a line in its plane and perpendicular to the main orbital radius. The surface generated on one complete revolution is the Mobius strip. Take a Mobius strip and cut it along the middle of the strip. This forms a new strip which is a rectangle joined by rotating one end a whole turn. By cutting it down the middle again, this forms two interlocking whole turn strips. Open Mobius band The open Mobius band is formed by deleting the boundary of the standard Mobius band. It is constructed from the set S equals R2, 0 x 1 and 0 less than y less than 1, by identifying the points and for all 0 less than y less than 1. It may be constructed as a surface of constant positive, negative, or zero curvature. In the cases of negative and zero curvature, the Mobius band can be constructed as a complete surface, which means that all geodesics may be extended indefinitely in either direction. Constant negative curvature, like the plane in the open cylinder, the open Mobius band admits not only a complete metric of constant curvature zero, but also a complete metric of constant negative curvature, say minus one. One way to see this is to begin with the upper half plane model of the hyperbolic plane, namely equals two y greater than zero, with the Riemannian metric given by y two. The orientation preserving isometries of this metric are all the maps f of the form f equals where a b c d are real numbers satisfying add minus b c equals one. Here z is a complex number with m greater than zero, and we have identified with z m greater than zero, endowed with the Riemannian metric that was mentioned. Then one orientation reversing isometry G of given by G equals CONJ, where CONJ denotes the complex conjugate of Z. These facts imply that the mapping H given by H equals minus 2 CONJ is an orientation reversing isometry of that generates an infinite cyclic group G of isometries equals 4z, which can be expressed as, the quotient, g of the action of this group can easily be seen to be topologically a Mobius band, but it is also easy to verify that it is complete and non-compact, with constant negative curvature minus 1. The group of isometries of this Mobius band is one-dimensional and is isomorphic to the special orthogonal group so, zero curvature. This may also be constructed as a complete surface, by starting with portion of the plane R2 defined by 0 y1 and identifying with for all x in R. The resulting metric makes the open Mobius band into a complete flat surface. This is the only metric on the Mobius band, up to uniform scaling, that is both flat and complete. The group of isometries of this Mobius band is one-dimensional and is isomorphic to the orthogonal group so, constant positive curvature. A Mobius band of constant positive curvature cannot be complete, since it is known that the only complete surfaces of constant positive curvature are the sphere and the projective plane. The projective plane P2 of constant curvature plus the first of may be constructed as the quotient of the unit sphere S2 in R3 by the antipodal map A, S2 S2, defined by A equals. The open Mobius band is homeomorphic to the once punctured projective plane, that is, P2 with any one point removed. This may be thought of as the closest that a Mobius band of constant positive curvature can get to being a complete surface. Just one point away, the group of isometries of this Mobius band is also one-dimensional and isomorphic to the orthogonal group O. The space of unoriented lines in the plane is diffeomorphic to the open Mobius band. To see why, let L denote the line through the origin at an angle theta to the positive x-axis. For each L there is the family P of all lines in the plane that are perpendicular to L. Topologically, the family P is just a line intersects the line L in just one point. In this way, as theta increases in the range 0 degrees theta less than 180 degrees, the line L represents a line's worth of distinct lines in the plane. 
but when theta reaches 180 degrees, L is identical to L, and so the families P and P of perpendicular lines are also identical families. The line L, however, has returned to itself as L pointed in the opposite direction. Every line in the plane corresponds to exactly one line in some family P for exactly one theta, for 0 degrees theta less than 180 degrees and P is identical to P but returns pointed in the opposite direction. This ensures that the space of all lines in the plane, the union of all the L for 0 degrees theta 180 degrees is an open Mobius band. The group of bijective linear transformations GL of the plane to itself naturally induces bijections of the space of lines in the plane to itself, which form a group of self-homeomorphisms of the space of lines. Hence the same group forms a group of self-homeomorphisms of the Mobius band described in the previous paragraph. But there is no metric on the space of lines in the plane that is invariant under the action of this group of homeomorphisms. In this sense, the space of lines in the plane has no natural metric on it. This means that the Mobius band possesses a natural four-dimensional Lie group of self-homeomorphisms, given by GL. But this high degree of symmetry cannot be exhibited as the group of isometries of any metric. Mobius band with round boundary the edge, or boundary, of a Mobius strip is homeomorphic to a circle. Under the usual embeddings of the strip in Euclidean space, as above, the boundary is not a true circle. However, it is possible to embed a Mobius strip in three dimensions so that the boundary is a perfect circle lying in some plane. For example, see figures 307, 308, and 309 of geometry and the imagination. A much more geometric embedding begins with a minimal Klein bottle immersed in the three-sphere, as discovered by Blaine Lawson. We then take half of this Klein bottle to get a Mobius band embedded in the three-sphere. The result is sometimes called the Sudanese Mobius band, where Sudanese refers not to the country Sudan but to the names of two topologists, Sue Goodman and Daniel Asimov. Applying stereographic projection to the Sudanese band places it in three-dimensional space. As can be seen below, a version due to George Francis can be found here. From Lawson's minimal Klein bottle we derive an embedding of the band into the three-sphere S3, regarded as a subset of C2, which is geometrically the same as R4. We map angle zeta, phi to complex numbers z1, z2 via here the parameter eta runs from 0 to pi and phi runs from 0 to 2 pi. Since z1, 2 plus z2, 2 equals 1, the embedded surface lies entirely in S3. The boundary of the strip is given by Z2 equals 1, which is clearly a circle on the three-sphere. To obtain an embedding of the Mobius strip in R3 one maps S3 to R3 via a stereographic projection. The projection point can be any point on S3 that does not lie on the embedded Mobius strip. One possible choice is Stereographic projections map circles to circles and preserves the circular boundary of the strip. The result is a smooth embedding of the Mobius strip into R3 with a circular edge and no self-intersections. The Sudanese Mobius band in the three-sphere S3 is geometrically a fiber bundle over a great circle, whose fibers are great semicircles. The most symmetrical image of a stereographic projection of this band into R3 is obtained by using a projection point that lies on that great circle, that runs through the midpoint of each of the semicircles. Each choice of such a projection point results in an image that is congruent to any other, but because such a projection point lies on the Mobius band itself. Two aspects of the image are significantly different from the case where the point is not on the band. 
1. The image in R3 is not the full Mobius band, but rather the band with one point removed, and 2. The image is unbounded, and as it gets increasingly far from the origin of R3, it increasingly approximates a plane. Yet, this version of the stereographic image has a group of four symmetries in R3, as compared with the bounded version illustrated above having its group of symmetries the unique group of order 2. But the most geometrically symmetrical version of all is the original Sudanese Mobius band in the 3-sphere S3, where its full group of symmetries is isomorphic to the Lie group O. Having an infinite cardinality, this is far larger than the symmetry group of any possible embedding of the Mobius band in R3. Related objects a closely related, strange, geometrical object is the Klein bottle. A Klein bottle can be produced by gluing two Mobius strips together along their edges. This cannot be done in ordinary three-dimensional Euclidean space without creating self-intersections. Another closely related manifold is the real projective plane. If a circular disk is cut out of the real projective plane, what is left is a Mobius strip. Going in the other direction, if one glues a disk to a Mobius strip by identifying their boundaries, the result is the projective plane. To visualize this, it is helpful to deform the Mobius strip so that its boundary is an ordinary circle. The real projective plane, like the Klein bottle, cannot be embedded in three dimensions without self-intersections. In graph theory, the Mobius ladder is a cubic graph closely related to the Mobius strip. In 1968, Gonzalo Velez Young discovered three-dimensional bodies with Mobian characteristics, later described by Martin Gardner as prismatic rings that became toroidal polyhedrons.